I'm out here at Dr. Mario's Vintage Polaris Parts. Let's have a look through his warehouse. All right, here we are out in the warehouse at Dr. Mario's and there is a lot of stuff. I don't even hardly know where to start. Uh, <laughs> tracks, NOS track melting. Yeah, racks of sleds, random racks and parts, fields of parts, tons of sleds, motors hanging around loose, slides. Don's got tons of slides. That's a cool, cool vintage helmet up there, if you could see that. It's got rails, stacks of rails, stacks of literature over there. I don't have a zoom. Let's see if I can walk back there. Oh yeah, sure. We can get through. Cool. All kinds of literature and books. Partially restored Voyager. Seats, probably NOS, no one other Dr. Mario's. What that Dr. Mario TXL back there. Pretty cool. More literature, more cleats, cleats and literature. Cool stuff. Got parts. Nice poster. Racks and racks of parts. With original player's part numbers. Yeah, Don's old helmet. Cool stuff. Decals. And I know Don's got decals up into the 80s. Check out these. Yeah, those are trailing arm decals from 80s. Pipes? You need a pipe? Holy cow. More stuff. Tracks. Obviously, Don is a track specialist, so. Lots of track belts to build tracks from. Super nice hood protected there. Skids all over. I see gold rails. Don's super busy. This is this is actually Don's customer appreciation party today. And so Don's super busy. That's why he's not walking through here with us pointing stuff out. But he turned me free to... Have a walk through, show you what he's got. Cables. Mountains of cables. 90s twin. Probably oil injected, I'm guessing. Yep, oil injected 90s twin cables, Indy triple cables. Very old single carb cables. He's got choke cables. He's got all sorts of cables. How about the stack of tunnel decals? Tons of decals. All right, let's get that back where it came from. More cables. More and more cables. We got wear bars. We got more decals. I don't know if this is coming out very well on the camera, all these decals, but 81 TXL Indy tunnel decals, TXL Indy hood decals, 81 TXC 440 tunnel decals, Centurion Indy. I mean, He's got the stuff here, folks. We got just a mountain of wear bars. 502, well, that's this is the most common Polaris wear bars, the 502s. I know Don bought out a lot from Wreck Engineering, which was part of Cronus and Snow Stuff, which is uh, probably where, where these came from, if I had to guess. So, more decals. Decals, decals, wear bars, wear bars, wear bars, tons of decals, tons of wear bars. Um, 
cross country indie hood decals. This is where I bought the hood decals for my cross country indie. It was from Don that came right out of that pile. So uh, Centurion Indie hood decals, tunnel decals. I mean, he's just got decals here. They're new old stock. The ones I've gotten have worked. They've been fine. Um, you saw the video where I, I put the new decals on the hood of my of my 83 cross country indie and they were just fine and they came out of that pile. I don't even know what to say about that table. How about a Polaris parts manual? That's the manual of all the manuals. Uh, that looks like a big 650 head there. What else do we got? More pipes. We got cranks. Rows of cranks. Boxes of pistons. I'm not even going to squeeze down there. That's too dark. But that's all engine parts. The, that whole row. That's engine parts. That's a lot of engine parts. Covers. Yeah. TXL motor. Complete. Yeah, Don's got that. Midnight blue uh, trim edge for your hood. Looks like Don has a lot of that. Uh, what else? <laughs> More motors. You know, obviously these motors are used, but there's a ton of them. I'm going to have to talk to him about this one. At least I need that recoil. If he'll sell it. Probably buy the whole motor if he'll sell it. Um, grills. All sorts of stuff. Just crazy amounts of old plastics. We got all the headlight buckets a guy could ever want. I'm not going to try to go back in there, but look at new old stock, snow flaps, bumpers, plastics. He's got Colt stuff. He's got Indy stuff. He's got Voyager. Anything you can imagine Don has. More cranks. More cranks. So uh, if you're wondering if he's got motor parts, call him and ask him. Cases. Handlebars. More plastics. I mean, this is, this is amazing to walk through here. And I've walked through here before with Don. Oh, you want, you need an original Polaris brake fluid in an original Polaris bottle? Call Don. Don sells all this stuff. This is his inventory. He picks out of this to bring it to swaps or sell to people. Belts, 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 more belts. Cat belts, rut belts, it says. Okay, so tons of belts. How about back down in this row? Headlights, lighting, lighting stuff, gears, uh, reverse chain case gears, regular gears. I need one specific gear. I'm going to have a dig through this and see if I can find it. Um, shocks, lots and lots of shocks, more belts. There's all your shafts. There's your drive shaft. And Don's got a lot of new old stock drivers and he's got repop drivers around here. What's this? That's a that's a repop driver for something. Maybe a Colt, I'm not sure. More drivers. Um, tons and tons of drivers, drive shafts, bogey wheels, more gears. You know, we're into the older gears here, roller chain stuff. He's got that. Clutch springs, leaf springs, Shane Chapman. <laughs> oh, this is a dead end. I thought I'd get around the corner. You know, he's got your leaf springs you need for your leaf spring TXs. Uh, suspension stuff, uh, spindles. Look at all the spindles. Look at the steering arms. Steering arms, spindles, shocks, ski saddles. Uh, he's got it all, though. The one thing I'm not seeing in this pile, I don't see forged spindles like I am hoping to buy from Don today. I'm only seeing the welded ones. Yeah, yeah, I don't see the uh, TXL forged spindles right now. Don's probably got those hidden away. Those are indie spindles right there. Kind of similar, but kind of not. But uh, holy cow, if you need a spring, you got an obscure sled that you need a spring for? Try it on. Well, if it's a Polaris, it's probably in here. I mean, there's your there's your TX Playmate springs. Holy cow. It's a little overwhelming, folks, to look through here. A guy could spend a long time digging through this stuff. Yeah, I definitely got to come back and look through these gears.
more stuff, more and more stuff. Just clutch, clutch buttons, some weird Honda stuff, oddball stuff, um, chain tensioner sliders, hardware, studs, rivets, pop rivets. I mean, holy cow. This is why Don doesn't list what he has. You got to call Don and ask him, right? Uh, leaf spring sliders. These are molded. Those are not some that somebody made up. Don's got them. What do you think, Shane? I knew he had a lot of shit. But... <laughs> it's crazy. New old stock speedometers. There you go. Windshields. Windshield trim. I mean, this is insane. More, more and more pipes. And there's a whole mezzanine up there that I'm not even going to get to. Um, more motors. I mean, there's an XLT motor and an Indy 500 motor next to early 70s motors. You know, there's a lot of motors. Lot, lot, lot of motors. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know it's not so easy to see what the stuff is that I'm looking at. Like it's not spread out like a swap meet. Well, that's because this is all indoors and space is at a premium. But, uh, you know, feel free to pause the video, rewind, slow motion, whatever you got to do to check this stuff out. Look at all these motors. Fuel pumps, carb parts, carb boots. I bought a ton of carb boots from Don. Um, I think a lot of you know what this motor is when you see it. That's a liquid kit. There's another liquid kit. There's another liquid kit. Don's got liquid kit motors just sitting on the shelf. I don't know what the status is of if everything is for sale or some of it is Don's private stash. You got to call him and ask him. But uh, now you've seen them. Uh, big fin free air 440s down there. Um, just generic motors, hearths and stuff. Crazy. Suspension arms. More rails. More gold rails. You know, I get excited about the gold rails. Just more and more suspension stuff. Motor plates. You missing a motor plate for your project? If you can't find the motor plate for your project, give Don a call. I didn't know he had all these motor plates. Um, thinking, well, those are all... Those are all 340 plates. No 440 plates in that mess, unfortunately. Well, I had to check. And yes, I do know I can just check the width and go, well, that one, that is actually a 440 plate. So if you look at my hand there, you see the span. My span just covers it. That's a 440 plate. You see how my pinky hangs way over the edge there? That's a 340 plate. But uh, it's not what you're hoping it is. This is actually like an early Indy trail motor plate. See, it's not, not a TX. It doesn't have the right angles on it. So these are TX motor plates right here. And these are, these are all 340s. But, you know, triple straps, all sorts of stuff. Just a crazy amount of stuff back here. I'll walk you back down. Maybe you'll see something that catches your eye. Looks like another 244 laying on the floor there. Oh, another row of motors. We got some JLOs down there. We got the big Polaris 380 single. Lots of big fin. Can't see, those are like 800s, 800 twins. Rotor part for early triple ignitions. This is all ignitions. All ignitions, old twins. Hearth, I think. Yep, hearth. Crazy amount of stuff. Just, it's pretty overwhelming. Gaskets. RXL 440 liquid. Wrist pin. It's got the wrist pins there. Flywheels. Clutches, of course. Just amazing amount of stuff. He's got your bushings. If you're rebuilding old closed face clutches, he's got your bushings. And he's got 
I don't even want to guess what's in all those boxes. We'd need Don back here to tell us. But uh, pretty wild. Looks like a 634 hearth. Hey, there's Tommy Zeller with a beer sling. Where'd you find that? Winston Drag Racing. Was that in the motorhome? Yeah, in the archives. I is awesome. <laughs> yeah, Tommy and I. Tommy and I drove six hours to get here today to check this out. Pick up at Sunday. But that Indy, it's a Sport Tech windshield, but it's got the purple checkers. This stuff just hiding everywhere. Just bumpers. New old stock, looks like. Tons of bumpers. I didn't know Don had these. New old stock skis. I knew Don made skis, uh, tank covers, new old stock tank covers, more, more tank covers in there, dash pads, phone doesn't look like it's ever been installed. There's your windshield strips, I don't know what those are for. More car boots, more rivets. A whole nother room of stuff. I don't know how interesting this is gonna work on the video. I'm gonna have to check when I edit it, but to be here in person, I mean, this is, this is just overwhelming. I thought I had a lot of stuff. Don has a lot of stuff. This is, a lot of stuff. All right, let's go have a look at some of these sleds that Don has lined up out here. So uh, it's a nice indie trail. You know, needs a windshield, not bad. How about this 84600? Super cool. Indie trail, I don't know, 84, 85. There's an earlier Indy trail, but it's got square trailing arms on it and the two-up seat. Now we know this is an 83 here. She's a cross-country Indy. I think you guys are familiar with that. If you haven't watched my series on rebuilding one of these, which was really the first sled series I did, uh, go back and check that out. I'll put a link to it up in the corner. TXL Indy. Don actually just got this from uh, my friend Ben at Princeton. And another TXL Indy, and another TXL Indy. So I don't know if you're noticing, but there's an 80, an 81, an 82, and an 83. He's got the full lineup here of the TXL Indies. And uh, I know this 80 has an SLP 404 kit in it. Now over here, probably the rarest sled you're going to see today, this is an 82 TXC. And uh, that's the 440 fan with the oil injection and the special pipe. Uh, not very many left, not very common. I guess we we're, we know where that beat up hood came from and looks like Don's working on this one. And then, uh, you know, your basic 81 TX. Just sitting in Don's yard. What's that, a 72 Charger? Mustang? That's probably a Mustang. It's a wide track. Now let's look at Don's lineup of his older sleds. Don likes triples. Don likes it when it's got three in a row through the hood. That's pretty cool. Little charger. Looks like a 634 hertz on a TX charger there. Cool. 488 Mustang. Home light. Pretty wild. That's some interesting uh, paint 
and an uh, interesting logo on this. I'm going to have to ask Don about that. Interesting hood. I wonder if that's an NX prototype for the Colt. I think it might be an NX. If you know for sure, leave a comment. Some Playmates, a couple of them. Early Colt. Big old Voyager. And another big old Voyager. How about the Snow Traveler? And we got another one there. This is the red ones, you know, fairly conventional. This one, I'm not real familiar with this era. But uh, it looks like a rubber track. She's plenty wide. It almost looks like a, a Mustang style hood. Two up, side by side, hinged. The rear section with the track and the drive is hinged. The big JLO looks like a 380. Two flaps. I don't know the story on this one. I, I don't think I've ever seen a sled like this before. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Dr. Mario's warehouse and also the sleds in his yard. There is so much stuff there. It's incredible. And I can't even identify all of it. There is just so much. But uh, I had a great time looking through it and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget, you know, if you're wondering or whatever, you can go back, freeze frame, slow motion, whatever you got to do, you know, and do it. Go check that stuff out. I put Dr. Mario's card in the video, and I'll put it again in the end after I'm done talking here. And you can get a hold of him if you want to buy any parts. Uh, you, you get an idea now of what he has, but he's probably got more than you actually saw in the video. So uh, thanks to the patrons. You guys are the best. We uh, really appreciate you. You're the main motivation that helps us keep the channel going. And uh, we appreciate the patrons funding the Beer and Pizza Fund. You know, we... Uh, usually get here right after work we haven't ate dinner yet so we certainly need some pizzas and for the rest of you please hit subscribe and we'll see you on the trails